Commerce Secretary Ginny Raimondo has been in the country. She's in the midst of a four-day visit to China, aiming to improve relations between the U.S. and what is the world's second largest economy. Eunice Yun is in Beijing now, can bring us up to date on the very latest. Good morning from here, at least, Eunice. Thanks so much, David. Well, Secretary Raimondo uh, capped her first day here in China with what she's framed as deliverables. She said that uh, the overwhelming message that she's received from the American business community is that there needs to be more channels of communication. So she said today that she was announcing the two sides after discussions with her Chinese uh, counterpart over four hours would establish a commercial issues working group an export control enforcement information exchange, the first of which is going to be held in Beijing tomorrow, technical discussions on protecting IP and trade secrets, and then an agreement to meet at the secretary and ministerial level at least once a year. Now, the danger um, is that potentially uh, one of the big complaints that the business community has had over years is that sometimes the Chinese, from their perspective, end up using talks as a concession. So the Chinese, they say, uh, say that they're going to talk about something and appear as though they're cooperating, cooperating but actually not making any changes. So um, that's one potential issue. Um, otherwise, though, her overall message has been that the U.S. and China can have a very strong trading relationship despite the tensions and despite her department's export controls. So even before she arrived in China, she had briefed reporters saying that um, narrow and targeted, as she describes them, U.S. export controls impact only 1% of trade. And uh, today, uh, to the Commerce Minister, uh, she uh, stressed that a strong uh, relationship be between the U.S. and China, as well as the $700 billion, she says, of trade between the two are profoundly important. And she also attended a, um, a, a showcase of U.S. companies, especially small and medium-sized ones, that do benefit from the Chinese market. Now, the Commerce Minister, for his part, had said that his country is ready to work to foster a more favorable policy environment. But as you guys well know, um, one of the big issues here has been that despite the pleasantries, it doesn't seem as though the two sides are really hitting the core issues that have been irritating both sides. And um, what I'm talking about from the Chinese perspective is that they want to make sure that that those export controls uh, don't hold back China's advanced IT ambitions. And then the, um, on the U.S. side, Raimondo directly addressed the national security issue, uh, saying to the minister this morning, in matters of national security, there is no room to compromise or negotiate. Guys? Uh, meantime, Eunice, uh, for the second day in a row now, we had a pretty good rally uh, in, uh, in Shanghai on the back of incremental stimulus, only to have that lost by the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the government has been making these incremental steps, announcements saying that we're going to make it easier for you to, to invest in the stock market, uh, um, putting in a, a lower stamp duty, for example, or saying that they're going to, um, to firm up the, the IPO process. Uh, but at the same time, um, Evergrande, the massive real estate company, uh, uh, you know, went back and, and started trading again in Hong Kong. Uh, that affected sentiment. Uh, the stock price dropped at one point to 87 percent down. And the company has said that um, it, that it's for its first half of the year, even though um, it's paired its losses from what from the previous year by about half, still reporting losses of about four and a half billion dollars. So a lot of issues are still weighing on investors' minds. Uh, Eunice will watch that. Obviously, that's going to give uh, some ammo to those who are talking about potential Lehman moments in China. We'll watch it with your help. Eunice Yun in Beijing. Uh, thanks.